Welcome everybody, Zyvox here, and today we're going to talk to you about Cotton and Farming Simulator 19. We're going to talk to you about how to set up your field for Cotton. We're going to talk to you about how to harvest Cotton and the Harvester. And we're going to show you how and where to sell Cotton once you're done. Let's get started. For this tutorial, I have picked field 12 to work with. It is a small to medium sized field and, and it will do us just fine for this tutorial. The first step in setting up your cotton field is cultivating. So I like to use disc car rows and I already have a large tractor. So I'm gonna go all the way to the right and pick this one, the Gigant 12S 1600. I hope I didn't butcher that name. And this one's gonna do 16 meters at one time at 400 horsepower. Make sure you check this when you pick yours. I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and lease this one. And just like every equipment in Farming Simulator, you need to connect to it. So you just connect to it like this, and I will see you at the field and show you how this works. I am at the field, and all you need to do is unfold, then lower, and as soon as it's done unfolding, this one's kind of big, it might take a little bit of time. You can just drive straight, and now your field is being cultivated. What I like to do is just hire a worker, and the worker will just go through this field and finish it off for me. Okay, that is the first step. Let's go to the second. For the second step, you need to sow the seeds into the ground. So that is not under seeders, that is actually under planters. And if you check down below, you can see the cotton icon right there. These pretty much all do the same thing. The major difference is the length that they do at one time and the storage that they have. But if you're like me, you're going to be using either a small to medium or a large tractor. Small to medium can use these guys. This is the Mestro 12SW. This is $93,000. And the amount of horsepower needed to run this is 180. So that is at the medium range. The high end medium range can run this. And if you have a large tractor, you can use the Tempo L16. This, both of these will plant and fertilize at the same time getting rid of two steps in one go. That's why I like these ones so much. So we're gonna use this one today, the Tempo L16. I'm gonna go ahead and lease this. And then we need seed that's under big bags and objects. You go to the seed bag and go ahead and buy this. And it needs fertilizer. So I'm gonna grab a bag of fertilizer. And just like everything in this game, you need to connect to it. Once you're connected, don't scoot a little bit closer to your seat bag. Hit your refill button if you're confused. It's in the top left. And don't forget to change the type of seed that you have. For me, that is Y. I'm gonna go ahead and change mine to cotton. And now we need to add the fertilizer. Fertilizer's to the left. And then hit your refill button again. For me, that's R. I'm gonna refill this and then I'll meet you at the field to show you how this works. Once you get to the field, make sure you have cotton selected on your bottom right, then unfold, and then you can lower it. And just like the cultivator or the disc harrow that we were using earlier, you can just drive forward and let it do the work for you, or you can hire a worker. Let me get this lined up correctly. I think this is about right. You hire a worker, let him do it for you, and this will handle planting your cotton and doing your first layer of fertilization. I'm gonna let this run and I'll meet you back here for the final step. This is stage one of cotton. At this point, you're gonna wanna add your second layer of fertilizer and soon after, weeds are gonna pop up if you have weeds on. For those of you who do know, this is just a reminder that these things still need to be taken care of. 
And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to leave links down below in the description of videos I have done in the past that are going to help you out with this subject. You're at the field and to use this harvester what you need to do is unfold and as soon as it's unfolded you can lower it and turn it on and drive straight. And then what I like to do is just hire a worker. I'm going to let this run for a little bit and let this fill up. I have let this thing go and AFK farmers you're going to love this thing. You do not need to do anything. All you need to do is hire a worker, let this thing go, it's going to fill up, then drop its bale on the floor which is one big huge cotton bale and then rewrap itself back up and then just keep going. AFK farmers you do not need to do anything, just set it up and go. I just needed to show you this before we continue on. For those of you who have a smaller field and were wondering like what do I need to do to get the rest of my cotton out? If you have more than 2,000 liters you can just unload it. And see at the bottom right I have 2,757 liters. You can just unload it. If you look at the top left you're going to see in the help menu that is there's a button for unload unfinished bale. You can just unload it. So just like so, it's going to look like a full size bale, but it's not. It's only going to have the remainder amount in there. So don't be confused by the full size bale. All right, I'm going to finish up this field and then we're going to go on to selling. We need a way to transport the bales once they're done. If you go under tools, under cotton technology, there's going to be two ways to do it. The module four and the module X. We're first going to talk about the module four. This one's 25,000 and carries only one bale. And what's neat about this one is you can use a tractor or a regular truck, or you can just use a regular pickup. So I'm already at the field and I have it hooked up to my pickup already. And to use this, you just need to hit your short key for operating position and then you just back up to the bale and you lift it up it's gonna scoot it back onto the trailer and then you put it back down and you're good to go and you can just drive around I need to show you the second one next now for the second one this is the module X this is 45,000 and this one can carry two bales at one time and just like the other one, this is going to lift up. It's going to scoot up to the bale and it's going to suck it into its internal storage and move it all the way forward. And for this one, you can use a dolly to use this with the tractor. I have just tried that and I am not a very good dra driver. So I suggest buying a truck or leasing a truck and then driving it that way. So I already have one out here and I already have a truck and you just back into it like so and then you attach and you're ready to go. I'm going to meet you at the field and show you how this works. We are at the field and just like the other one what you want to do is put it into the operating position and then just back up and it will scoop it up and send it all the way forward. And you can fit one more bale. So I'm going to let my harvester finish up. And then I'm going to meet you at the spinnery and show you how to sell these. Let's talk about pricing real quick and how to find the spinnery. Depending on your map, it's going to be a different location. The easiest way to do it is to just set a tag on the spinnery. And if you go over to the right and look for the cotton icon, you can see the price right now. It's at 1618 in my playthrough, the highest that I have seen it is 1,700. That's 1,700. So this is going to be a good idea what two bales sell like once we get there. We are at the spinnery now. And that green spot right there, that is the sell spot. So you just want to back up to it. Hit your unload button that is in the top left under the help menu. And this is two full bales. Just unload it into the area and it's going to sell like that that sold for 64723 and that is how you do cotton in farming simulator 19. I want to thank you guys for watching if you like this video 
please hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will answer them as they come. And you guys all have a very nice day.